In the vast expanse of the Milky Way galaxy, rumors of the technologically inferior human ships had spread far and wide among the alien species. The latest addition to this gossip was a conversation among a group of Xylorians, a formidable warrior race known for their advanced warships and strategic prowess. Have you heard about the humans and their laughably weak ships? Kavax, a seasoned Xylorian soldier, said with a dismissive chuckle to his fellow warriors. Pathetic creatures they are, agreed Taryn, a battle-hardened veteran with a sneer of superiority. Their ships are nothing compared to our mighty fleets. It's almost insulting that we have to share this galaxy with them. Others in the group joined in the mockery, each one recounting tales they had heard about human vessels being easily dismantled in space skirmishes. The Xylorians had never considered the humans to be a threat, viewing them as a mere inconvenience in their conquest of the stars. Enthralled by the contemptuous conversation, an eager young Xylorian named Vexar spoke up. I bet I could defeat a human ship with one arm tied behind my back. Those humans have no chance against us. His boastful declaration was met with laughter from his comrades, who found the notion of a single Xylorian warrior taking down a human ship to be preposterous. To prove his point, Vexar impulsively challenged the group to a wager. I propose a challenge, Vexar declared, his eyes gleaming with confidence. I will take one of our scout ships and face off against a human vessel. If I can disable or destroy it, you all owe me a case of Ferillian nectar. The others exchanged amused glances, accepting the challenge with a mixture of amusement and mild curiosity. They knew the human ships were weak, but the audacity of Vexar's proposition was too entertaining to pass up. And so, the challenge was set in motion, with Vexar eagerly preparing for his encounter with what he considered to be an easy victory. Little did he know that his confidence would soon be shattered, and he would come to rue the day he underestimated the humans and their seemingly pathetic ships. As Vexar readied himself for the challenge ahead, he boarded a sleek Xylorian scout ship, filled with anticipation and a hint of arrogance. His fellow warriors gathered around, offering words of encouragement laced with skepticism. They watched as Vexar powered up the ship's systems, preparing to depart for the designated coordinates where human activity had been reported. Guided by his overconfidence, Vexar engaged the ship's warp drive and hurtled through the void of space towards the outskirts of human territory. As he approached the designated sector, he scanned the area with the ship's advanced sensors, searching for any sign of human vessels. It wasn't long before Vexar's sensors detected a lone ship drifting lazily in space, a human ship. His excitement surged as he locked onto the target, preparing to engage. The human vessel appeared small and outdated, a mere blip on his display screen. Vexar couldn't help but smirk at the sight, convinced of his impending triumph. With a sense of certainty, Vexar initiated the attack, unleashing a barrage of energy blasts from the Xylorian scout ship's advanced weaponry. The energy beams streaked through the void, closing in on the unsuspecting human vessel. To Vexar's astonishment, instead of the feeble ship crumbling under the onslaught as he had expected, the human vessel deftly maneuvered out of harm's way with surprising agility. The seemingly outdated craft evaded his shots with precision that caught Vexar off guard. Undeterred, Vexar continued to pursue the human ship, firing relentlessly in an attempt to overwhelm his target. However, the human pilot proved to be adept at evasive maneuvers, dodging Vexar's attacks with a skill that belied the ship's outward appearance. As the tense cat-and-mouse chase unfolded in the silent expanse of space, Vexar's initial confidence began to wane. His frustration grew as the human ship outmaneuvered him at every turn, slipping through his grasp like a shadow in the void. Realization dawned on Vexar as he witnessed the human ship's unwavering resilience and cunning tactics. The tables had turned, and he found himself in a harrowing situation he hadn't anticipated. The once ridiculed human vessel had revealed itself to be a formidable adversary, shattering Vexar's belief in the superiority of his own species. As the pursuit continued, Vexar came to a sobering realization. Humans may indeed have pathetic ships, but their pilots were nothing short of exceptional. And in that moment, a sense of awe and respect began to bloom within him for the tenacity and skill of his newfound adversaries in the vast expanse of space.
As the tense pursuit between the Xylorian scout ship and the elusive human vessel persisted, Vexar's initial bravado gave way to a growing sense of respect for his adversary. The human pilot's evasive maneuvers and tactical prowess had caught him off guard, challenging his preconceived notions of human capabilities. Despite his mounting frustration, Vexar couldn't help but admire the skill and ingenuity displayed by the human pilot. Each daring maneuver and precise evasion only served to deepen his newfound respect for the so-called pathetic human ship. As the chase intensified, Vexar's thoughts raced, trying to devise new strategies to outmaneuver his opponent. The human vessel continued to outwit him at every turn, deftly eluding his attacks and maintaining a distance that prevented Vexar from gaining a clear shot. In a moment of clarity, Vexar recalibrated his approach, drawing upon his own training and instincts to anticipate the human pilot's next move. With a renewed focus and determination, he plotted a daring maneuver of his own, aiming to corner the human ship and disable it once and for all. With precision and skill, Vexar executed his plan, cutting off the human vessel's escape route and closing in on his target. The two ships danced through space, locked in a deadly ballet of pursuit and evasion. As the tension reached its peak, Vexar unleashed a final calculated barrage of energy blasts, aiming to cripple the human ship and emerge victorious. To his surprise and relief, the human vessel finally succumbed to the relentless assault, its systems compromised and propulsion failing. As the once elusive ship spiraled into a controlled drift, Vexar's sense of triumph washed over him, mingled with a newfound admiration for the human pilot's resilience and skill. With the human ship disabled and its pilot captured, Vexar approached the vessel, prepared to board and confront his adversary face to face. As he entered the dark, silent interior of the human ship, Vexar was met with a surprising sight. A lone human pilot, battered but unbowed, standing before him with a defiant gleam in their eyes. In that moment, as Vexar faced the courageous human pilot who had challenged him at every turn, a profound realization dawned upon him. The encounter had shattered his preconceptions and opened his eyes to the true spirit and determination of humanity, a species whose ships may be deemed pathetic by some, but whose unwavering resolve and ingenuity were anything but. As Vexar stood face to face with his adversary, a newfound respect bloomed within him for the humans and their seemingly insignificant ships. The encounter had forever altered his perspective, sparking a curiosity and appreciation for the resilience and the species that dared to defy the odds in the vast and unforgiving expanse of space. Standing face to face with the human pilot on board the disabled vessel, Vexar felt a mix of emotions churning within him, awe, respect, and a newfound sense of understanding. The human, clad in a simple flight suit, stared back at him with a steady gaze that belied the chaos that had unfolded moments ago. You fought well, Vexar admitted, a tinge of admiration in his voice. I underestimated you and your ship. You have proven me wrong. The human pilot inclined their head in acknowledgement, a hint of a smile tugging at the corners of their lips. Likewise, you are a skilled pilot, Vexer of the Xylorians. I did not expect such tenacity from your kind. As they exchanged pleasantries in the aftermath of their intense encounter, a mutual understanding began to blossom between Vexar and the human pilot. Gone was the animosity and skepticism that had defined their initial perceptions of each other. In its place was a newfound respect for the capabilities and resilience of their respective species. As they conversed, Vexar learned of the human pilot's background, a seasoned veteran who had honed their skills through countless battles and skirmishes in the far reaches of space. The pilot in turn listened intently as Vexar shared stories of his own experiences as a warrior of the Ilorian race. Despite their differences, a sense of camaraderie began to form between them, forged in the crucible of their encounter. Through their conversations, Vexar came to appreciate the ingenuity and adaptability of the human pilot, whose resourcefulness had posed a significant challenge even to a skilled Xylorian warrior like himself. The pilot, in turn, gained a newfound respect for Xylorian technology and tactics, 
recognizing the strengths of a species that had long been underestimated by others in the galaxy. As they continued to converse and share insights gleaned from their respective encounters, Vexar and the human pilot found common ground in their shared passion for exploration and the thrill of the unknown. They spoke of the wonders of the galaxy, the mysteries that lay beyond the stars, and the boundless potential for discovery that awaited those brave enough to venture into the great unknown. In that moment of connection and understanding, Vexar realized that the true measure of a species was not defined by the strength of their ships or the technology at their disposal, but by the courage, resilience and spirit that resided within each individual. Humans and Xylorians may have been different in many ways, but in that fleeting instant, a sense of unity and mutual respect enveloped them, transcending the boundaries of their respective species. As Vexar and the human pilot prepared to part ways, their encounter left an indelible mark on both of them, shaping their perceptions and deepening their appreciation for the vast and diverse tapestry of life that existed in the universe. And as they bid each other farewell, a new chapter of understanding and cooperation between their species began to unfold, paving the way for a future where differences were celebrated and unity prevailed in the boundless expanse of space. In the wake of their encounter, Vexar and the human pilot parted ways, each carrying with them a newfound respect and understanding for the other species. As they returned to their respective homeworlds, the echoes of their shared experience lingered, threading a bond that transcended the vast distances of space. Back on Xyloria Prime, Vexar found himself reflecting on the events that had unfolded during his encounter with the human pilot. The realization that unity and cooperation could emerge from seemingly adversarial situations had left a lasting impression on him. He shared his experiences with his comrades, recounting the bravery and resilience of the human pilot and the lessons learned from their unexpected alliance. On Earth, the human pilot shared a similar sentiment, recounting the encounter with Vexar and the insights gained from their interaction. News of the encounter spread through human space, sparking discussions and debates among pilots, scientists and diplomats alike. The notion of cooperation and understanding with alien species took root, shaping the way humans viewed their place in the cosmos. As time passed, the relationship between the Xylorians and humans deepened, rooted in a shared respect for each other's strengths and a recognition of the value of unity in the face of adversity. Diplomatic channels were opened, Trade agreements were established, and cultural exchanges flourished, fostering a sense of collaboration and mutual benefit between the two species. In the years that followed, Vexar and the human pilot kept in touch, exchanging messages and updates on their respective worlds. Their bond served as a symbol of the unity and camaraderie that had blossomed between their species, transcending language barriers and cultural divides. Together, Silurians and humans embarked on joint ventures into the uncharted reaches of space, pooling their resources and knowledge to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. They worked side by side, exploring new worlds, encountering exotic species, and forging alliances with civilizations previously unknown to them. Through their shared endeavors, the Silurians and humans came to understand that true strength lay not in the superiority of their technology or the size of their fleets, but in the bonds of friendship and cooperation that united them as inhabitants of the galaxy. Together, they navigated the challenges of the cosmos, facing unknown threats and discovering wonders beyond their wildest imaginations. And as they ventured forth into the infinite expanse of the universe, Vexar and the human pilot knew that the unity they had forged was a beacon of hope and inspiration, illuminating a path towards a future where differences were embraced Alliances were forged, and the collective spirit of cooperation reigned supreme in the tapestry of the cosmos. In the wake of their collaborative efforts and newfound unity, 
the bond between the Xylorians and humans flourished, setting the stage for a monumental event in the annals of galactic history, the formation of the Great Alliance. Representatives from both species gathered on a neutral space station, their hearts brimming with hope and optimism for a future of cooperation, peace and shared prosperity among the stars. Vexar and the human pilot, now regarded as heroes and ambassadors of their respective worlds, stood side by side as they addressed the assembly, their voices resonating with the spirit of unity that had brought them together. Their words echoed through the chamber, carrying a message of solidarity and a vision of a galaxy where diversity was celebrated and differences were strength. Our encounter was a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of our species, but it was also a lesson in the power of cooperation, Vexar spoke, his gaze sweeping across the diverse assemblage of species gathered before him. Together, we stand stronger, united by a shared purpose and a common goal of exploration, understanding, and peace. The human pilot, their voice filled with conviction and determination, added, In the face of adversity, we have proven that unity transcends boundaries and fosters a sense of camaraderie that knows no limits. Let us embrace our differences, learn from each other, and build a future where cooperation and collaboration are the cornerstones of our existence. The representatives of various alien species listened intently, their eyes alight with curiosity and a glimmer of hope for a future where conflict and division could be replaced by harmony and understanding. As the ceremony unfolded, pledges of mutual cooperation, technological exchange and cultural integration were made, binding the members of the Great Alliance in a web of shared purpose and collective endeavor. In the days and weeks that followed, the Great Alliance flourished, its members embarking on joint missions, sharing knowledge and resources, and forging lasting bonds that transcended the boundaries of their individual species. Together, they charted new star systems, encountered enigmatic alien civilizations, and worked hand in hand to overcome common challenges that lay in the uncharted depths of the cosmos. Through their combined efforts, the Great Alliance became a beacon of hope and inspiration, a testament to the transformative power of unity and cooperation in a galaxy fraught with uncertainties and dangers. The once disparate races now stood shoulder to shoulder as allies and friends, their differences celebrated as strengths that enriched the tapestry of their shared existence. And as the members of the Great Alliance embarked on new adventures, and sought to unravel the mysteries of the universe, they did so with a shared sense of purpose and a commitment to upholding the principles of peace, understanding and cooperation. That bound them together. In their unity, they found strength in their diversity, they found wisdom, and in their solidarity, they found the promise of a brighter future for all who called the cosmos their home. Amid the flourishing era of the Great Alliance, a shadow emerged on the galactic horizon, threatening the fragile unity that had been painstakingly forged among the diverse species. Rumors began to circulate of a mysterious force lurking at the edges of known space, a dark presence that posed a threat unlike any the Alliance had faced before. Concerned whispers echoed through the corridors of the Alliance Council, prompting leaders from all member species to convene in a hastily called emergency session. Vexar and the human pilot, now esteemed representatives of their worlds, stood at the forefront of the gathering, their expressions grave as they surveyed the assembly gathered before them. The time has come for the Alliance to face its greatest trial, Vexar began, his voice resonating with a steely resolve. A new threat looms on the horizon, one that seeks to sow discord and chaos among our ranks. We must stand unified in the face of this adversary, drawing strength from our diversity and solidarity to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. The human pilot, their gaze unwavering, added, Our bond must remain unbreakable, our resolve unwavering, as we confront this threat together. We have proven time and again that unity is our greatest strength, and it is through our collective efforts that we shall prevail against whatever darkness lurks beyond the stars. As the Council deliberated on a course of action, Reports began to filter in of sporadic incursions and skirmishes along the fringes of Alliance territory. Ships from unknown origins had been sighted, 
their motives mysterious and their technology far surpassing that of any known species. The threat was real, and the need for a united response grew increasingly urgent. In the days that followed, the Alliance launched a coordinated effort to investigate the incursions, deploying joint task forces comprised of ships and personnel from various member worlds. Vexa and the human pilot found themselves once again at the forefront of the conflict, leading the charge against the enigmatic aggressors with a determination born of their shared experiences and unyielding resolve. As battles raged and tensions mounted, the true test of unity unfolded. The Alliance's diverse members faced a crucible of challenges, putting aside differences and working together to fend off the encroaching threat. Through cooperation, sacrifice, and unwavering determination, they stood as a united front against a common enemy, drawing strength from their shared purpose and the bonds that bound them together. In the crucible of conflict, the Great Alliance discovered the true power of unity, a force that transcended individual fears and doubts, and forged a collective spirit that illuminated the darkness of uncertainty. As Vexar and the human pilot led their comrades into battle, they understood that it was not technology or strength alone that would see them through, but the unbreakable bond of solidarity and cooperation that defined the very essence of the Alliance. And as the stars bore witness to the unfolding drama of unity in the face of adversity, the members of the Great Alliance stood resolute, ready to confront whatever challenges lay ahead with courage, determination, and the unwavering belief that, together, they could overcome any obstacle in the boundless expanse of the cosmos. As the conflict with the mysterious aggressors reached its climax, the Great Alliance faced its greatest challenge yet. The enigmatic forces, driven by unknown motives, launched a decisive assault on the heart of Alliance space, targeting key installations and strategic outposts with ruthless precision. Amid the chaos of battle, Vexa, the human pilot, and their comrades stood united on the front lines, their ships arrayed in a defiant formation against the overwhelming might of the enemy's armada. The fate of the Alliance hung in the balance, the outcome uncertain as the forces of light and darkness clashed in a cataclysmic struggle for supremacy. Through the crucible of conflict, the members of the Great Alliance found strength in unity, drawing upon the diverse talents and capabilities of its member species to mount a coordinated defense against the encroaching threat. Xylorian warships exchanged fire with advanced enemy vessels, human pilots executed daring maneuvers to outflank the aggressors, and allies from across the galaxy rallied to the call of solidarity and cooperation. On the bridge of his flagship, Vexar surveyed the chaotic battlefield with a steely gaze, his fingers poised over the controls as he issued orders to his crew with unwavering resolve. Beside him, the human pilot worked in tandem, their movements synchronized in a dance of calculated precision and unyielding determination. As the battle raged on, the tide of conflict ebbed and flowed, each side gaining ground only to be pushed back in a relentless struggle for dominance. The courage and tenacity of the Alliance's defenders shone brightly amid the darkness of war, their spirits unbroken and their resolve unshakable in the face of overwhelming odds. In a pivotal moment, as the enemy's forces pressed ever closer to the heart of Alliance territory, Vexa and the human pilot devised a daring plan. Drawing upon the combined strengths of their respective species, they orchestrated a coordinated counterattack, a gambit that would test the limits of their unity and determination in the crucible of battle. With unparalleled skill and unwavering courage, the Alliance's forces executed the daring maneuver striking at the heart of the enemy's fleet with precision and ferocity. The battlefield erupted into a maelstrom of energy and fire as ships collided, weapons clashed, and fates hung in the balance. In a moment of triumph, the enemy's forces faltered, their resolve shattered by the unwavering unity and resolve of the Great Alliance. Vexa, the human pilot, and their comrades fought with unrivaled valor, turning the tide of battle in a decisive victory that resonated throughout the galaxy. As the dust settled and the echoes of conflict faded, 
the members of the Great Alliance stood united in their triumph, their spirits uplifted by the power of solidarity and cooperation that had carried them through the crucible of war. The enigmatic aggressors had been repelled, their threat neutralized by the strength of a bond that transcended differences and united them as brethren in arms. And as Vexar, the human pilot, and their comrades surveyed the battlefield, united in victory and purpose, they knew that the triumph of unity in the face of adversity was a testament to the enduring spirit of cooperation, courage, and camaraderie. That defined the Great Alliance, a beacon of hope in a galaxy where the bonds of solidarity shone brightly amidst the stars.